check out this Note 4 that came in for data recovery last week. I'm just getting to it now. So uh, that's what's in the box here. It's not much left of it. Uh, we actually only got a half a phone. That's what we got left. Originally, when the client brought that in, I thought there's uh, no chip though, but it was on the other side. So there it is here. Oh, camera can catch focus on this. There we go. So we got. So we're going to do chip off on that phone. This is a dual layer chip. So we have uh, two chips stacked in each other. I've done the, this previously for YouTube video, but uh, let's remove it. Uh, what's going to be challenging in this particular case is mounting it in the BGA workstation, which is the infrared machine behind me, uh, behind the camera there. Uh, so mounting it just so we can get enough grip so we can come in with our tool and we can kind of shimmy it between the chips and lift it. So let's mount it and see how it goes. So here we are in our infrared rework station. So the issue I was talking about is there's no real way to mount uh, uh, this chip right here or whatever's left of this board to mount it in here. Let me get a little zoom here. So that's all we have to work with is this tiny board. So normally we have a whole board uh, so we can kind of mount it onto these, um, these things here and we can mount it with a bit of this tape tape is super um, adhesive but the problem is now we're gonna have a problem mounting it so let me get a good angle here I think the only way is going to be is to mount it like that it would be useful if I had some kind of clamps that I could hold it down that wouldn't melt but uh, I guess we're gonna have to work with what we have I'm gonna adjust this I also need the probe here so I can see what the temperature is like no, I'm not going to leave the probe just like that. We're going to tape it uh, with some, some of that adhesive aluminum tape. I don't know what uh, what what's the real name for these tapes. Uh, but there it is. So we're going to get the probe up here. First things first, we need it to not to move. So we mount it here. And we got one more piece that's going to go somehow. Hmm. That's going to be tough. And we can put it over that and now we're covering the probe so the probe is not going to work correctly so i'm going to push the probe in so there's the probe and we're going to start removing it okay so we got the chip mounted let's put a bit of flux in here hopefully it goes around i might have to fix some of this tape here because it's in the way and of course I put the flux on the tape ah, okay then let's um, put some more flux here alrighty then so the next step is to swing the arm on this thing and let's hit start so I'm gonna use my trusty tool here to go in between the layers and now that I wear glasses I can see better when I'm going in between layers so I'm probably going to speed this portion up because this will take at least the 10 minutes to slowly heat up so then we can separate the two chips and uh, we can uh, read, it, read the chip So I left it. Let's clean it up a little bit and put in a reader and see if it reads. Okay, so here's the chip. Uh, we're gonna go clean it now. Put it on the microscope. So I don't know if I'm gonna film the overhead view because uh, I've already done it a bunch of times. So let me see if my camera's hooked up. 
and then I'm gonna film the just just the top view quickly. I'm gonna speed through it, and then I'm gonna put in a reader and see if it works. So the chip has been cleaned, here we go. Uh, let's put this guy into the reader and see if it shows up. We're probably gonna use a um, USB stabilizer. So chips in, clamp it down and let's plug it into a USB stabilizer. <clears throat> so if you remember this case from last video, I'm still running it. We need the USB stabilizer, so we're gonna stop it. We're gonna create a new task in P3000. So I'm not going to use a screen capture this time. I'm just going to point the camera at the screen. Power's on. I had to play around with it a little bit because it wasn't showing up at first, but there it is. So let's make a new case. Okay, there it is. Finally showed up. So we go next. Let's get a copy file image okay and we're just gonna hit start and we can create an image let's see if it reads yeah so it's reading so you can see it's reading here so it's definitely working let's stop this We can see multiple partitions, so it is it is definitely working. Let me move the camera here so we can see better. So we see all the partitions here. So that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna make an image of this and take it to Celebrite. You've seen that in other videos. That's it for this case. Super simple, super easy, nice and easy chip off. That's what I like to do sometimes. I don't like when the cases don't work very well, but this one worked uh, quite well. So that's gonna be dumping now as an image. Like I said, going to Celebrite. And we're going to contact the client with their data. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.